What's shaking guys, it's Feldy bringing you another Clash of Clans video and today we are recapping the Clan War League that we just wrapped up and it is a dandy for us. We ended up, well, so personally I got 212 medals which is fairly awesome. I can get um, close to two hammers for that now. I did end up having, um, let me just go back here to my shop. I did end up having some extra medals from before, so I have 537 medals, which is going to be beast mode for when I go up to Town Hall 12, which might be fairly soon. I did want to um, quickly just show you, I am doing a quick wall grind to at least get all my walls up to lava, minus my little level 1 wall. Never forget your roots. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, it, I have multiple accounts, uh, if you've watched this channel before, and I've only gotten four Christmas trees, and one of them has gotten five, so that's kind of weird, but anyway. Alright, so, here we go, this is our war recap. Elo Elo Madness dominated, dominated the war. Um, they ended up winning, um... Let me just see here. They ended up winning every single round. So let me go up here. So you can see um, Elo Elo Mana, second to bottom right there. They won. Second to top right there. They won. Round three, top one, they won. Round four at the bottom, they won. Round five at the bottom, they won. Round six, second to the top, they won. And second to bottom on round seven, they won. Now, um, if you notice the, uh, I believe it was um, Arabic and Japanese clans on round seven, they both just kind of gave up at the very end. And uh, I don't know what happened, but they, they both were very weak opponents. Um, although I do believe that um, we ended up losing to one of them. Maybe. No. Perry and Elo Elo. No, we did not. We did not lose to either of those. Okay, so let's just get into like a quick recap of what happened, how it kind of shook it, shook out. I want to show you um, kind of the how how attacks went. You can maybe kind of get some formulas of uh, what to do, what not to do. Um, so. In the very first war, we ended up winning. Um, their town hall one, or their number one player was a town hall 12, basically fully maxed out, minus some walls. Um, so we decided we were not going to attack that one. Now, um, we did end up uh, war events. All right, so if we scroll down to the bottom of this war, um, they essentially, because of the time zone difference, had the first few attacks, then we woke up and we ended up doing some attacks. Um, actually, no, you know, because we were already up. I think we just kind of were cooking troops, scouting. Um, so as you can see, we ended up, because of the time zone difference of these two clans, we're in the United States, and so we had a huge stretch where we went and just attacked. And then they ended up coming in and attacking as well um, at the very end of the war so we ended up having all of our attacks in now if you kind of see what we try to do is go mirror to mirror because obviously with one attack and 15 people in a war each attack is critical but sometimes um, and because we are a mix it, it it typically pits you up against an opponent sort of similar to your range of what the game thinks you should be, right? Now, that doesn't mean you're going to be, but that's kind of how the game tries to pit you up against each other. Now, Mike dropped lower, Lord Glenn dropped lower, CB, she attacked her mirror, um, and then Misfits went lower, uh, Bell attacked his and then I went lower just for the three stars. Uh, I do think I ended up attacking later, as you can kind of see here. I was one of the second to last to go. So in this first war, we pretty much were able to get a good number of three stars, as you can kind of tell. That's always your goal. You always want to try to maximize 
okay, if this person is a Town Hall 10 and we have a Town Hall 12, it's better for the Town Hall 12 to get those three stars than the Town Hall 10 to get a one star. Use that Town Hall 10 to try to get a one star on the top base if that Town Hall 12 person isn't going to be able to get a three star. You always want to, you're always trying to maximize your value of stars. If that Town Hall 12 can only get a two star and that Town Hall 10 can only get a one star, that's three stars versus the four stars that you would have been able to snag. And sometimes that's the difference in your war. All right. I hope that makes sense. I'm kind of a visual guy. It's a little tough to kind of explain that without showing you visuals. But um, day two kind of took on its own little challenge. Um, we ended up having a couple of our guys uh, in here. I don't know. Did, did they not attack? No, nope. everybody attacked. Okay, so day two was actually fairly easy. Um, we came in. We got a few three stars. Um, you can tell some of these guys and gals... Um, are newer to war or are newer to their troop comp level at their new town hall. So what we're always trying to do is push and progress people into new town halls. So when you have a whole bunch of new town hall levels, which we did this war, we wanted everybody to try to get in to kind of upgrade and get bigger, better troops. So we did a lot of scouting. We did a lot of like research in terms of, okay, here's, here's what these opponents have. They're probably going to put in all their top members, but then they might throw in some of their lower members because they want a shot to win. So that war went pretty flawless. I mean, we were really in no jeopardy of losing. Now, day three was different. This was the Elo Elo Madness group, and uh, they literally came in and smashed us. I just want to show you the war events. They came in guns blazing. I did a couple videos about this already they had one two three four five five three star attacks right off the bat and then a two star and then our guy who normally can three star new best came in with a 95 percent, which was just absolutely killer because i know he wanted that extra star he wanted to start off strong then his second base came in and ended up three starring so um, as you can tell, they dropped down and they were smart attackers. They understood exactly what to do. Now, their 15, as you can see here, attacked our town hall 12 or number 12. So Kila Yu Zoldik versus Dirty Disc. Number 15 was a town hall 11. He wasn't maximized upgraded, but his troops were, and he was able to clobber. So there is still a little bit of that like unfair play. Um, and I understand that Supercell's really been um, coming down on those kind of people that um, have uh, names that are inappropriate, who used bots perhaps in the past, who have modded the game somehow, who log on to people's accounts um, from within their clan that they aren't supposed to, right? Like if you don't own your own name and account, you should not be playing that account. And it's very, very, very reassuring that Supercell is stepping in and saying, look, if we're going to be competitive, we have to have these rules. So, and that's not just for the million dollar jackpot at the end for all these pro players. This is for me, my average friendly clan that's going to be playing and wants a fair matchup. We don't like when people have unfair matchups. All right, so this one's kind of rambling on a little bit, but let me just show you. These guys just knew how to attack. We came in, we tried to give it our best, but they were just such good base layouts. They were really, really intense. We got some stars, some not, like, you know, uh, bases that were already attacked, we had to attack again to try to get that star because we couldn't get a star anywhere else. Um, they ended up two-starring me. I ended up three-starring my equal. That made me happy, but in the end, we still lost, and we lost dramatically, and that obviously doesn't make me happy. So um, let me just kind of skip to day four. Day four was a heartbreaker. We lost by one. I'll just show you kind of the war events going back to the bottom. Um 
Lord Glenn started off strong with a three star. CB came in and attacked her equal. We're trying to get everybody to attack lower that they when let, let me just put it this way. If your clan um if you know that you're not going to be able to three star or if you know that you can't three star, it does zero zero good for your clan to attack your mirror. You need to drop lower. I don't care if it was eight lower and she attacked and she three starred. I would have loved it. I would have loved that more than a one star. Now, she did that on the very last day, and I'll show you that. And that was awesome. So because you need you need to get confidence from attacking and you need to understand that attacking is going to be different for every person. Every person has a different way to attack. So we came in. Jake had a 97% two star. That was that was killer because he's normally a three star slayer. Um, New Best, who usually three stars as well, had a two star, solid two star, but he did go up because we had to have a couple guys kind of rotate. So Dark Spawn, who normally is a solid two star, he got one. That was a little disappointing in this war. Bell didn't get any. He had a 48%, which was just devastating in this war. So as you can see right there, we should have won right in those little sweet zones. If Bell would have gotten a star, we would have tied. Uh, we had more per percentage of destruction anyway. We should have won, but we came in. We started getting some more stars. We, uh, we came in with some threes. We had a couple solid twos, and then they came in, and they were able to get a couple three stars. Their number 12 hit New Best Jr., which was our 15 at three stars. That was hurt. That hurt for sure. Um, number one hit me, which I was actually really surprised about because I didn't think that they were going to. I went in at my mirror. Um, it just ended up having to be because one of the one of the final attacks of war, I ended up being the last one in our clan to attack. And that was the last base left with zero um, attacks on it um, that I could have at least even hit. So I think four... Four was uh, a little bit more, yeah, it was it was upgraded. It wasn't that bad, but the troop uh, uh, comp that I had, I knew I could have easily gotten the three star on seven, which I ended up doing. So um, then they came in, let me just see. They came in um, and got three extra stars, which was horrible because I really wanted just a tie but they did end up clinching those two extra stars against Phil, and that in itself ended that war. And that was that was probably the biggest disappointment in that war because these guys um, coming into this war weren't one of the best ones on the table. And as you can see, we finished right under them. So we, we really should have had them, in my opinion, um, but... Anyway, just another quick war recap on day five. This is against U-Box Kulang, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We lost by two. That was another disappointing war. Um, you know, when you get blown out by, like, Elo Elo Madness, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Like, I know it sounds bad, but, like, if, you, if you're going to dominate like that, you totally get credit for it. So these guys came in. They were just beast mode. Um and they ended up getting just one or two more stars but then we did end up clutching our last two and we were 37 to 31 in that and we had uh 32 to 30 on that so that was our war recap we had i think only one attack throughout the whole thing that used drag bat and that was me um which i'll bring you a couple of these attacks soon but uh if you guys like this, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and uh, I'll bring you some more CWL content soon. Until then, Feldy, peace.